All right. Last time I played this game, I didn't realize it was just a demo. I have a taste, and now we're dipping in. Let's go. I'm excited. Um, new game, because I just started. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Because I already got a taste of what this was going to be like in the demo. <laughs> hey, guys. The walk was brutal, but this cabin is amazing. Full kitchen, running water, it really is everything. Finally, a place where I can read a good book in peace. Yeah, somehow I highly doubt that, because from the demo it didn't look like this was going to be a peaceful place at all. <laughs> I can't wait to... to... <gasps> what? Wait, what? Whoa. Got you! Oh, she sneezed! That was like, is there an earthquake? What is happening? Sorry, everyone. It must be the dust. Ugh. Get those allergies under control, Mariah. Wow, that's completely insensitive. You have allergies? Too bad for you. I can't dust. Every time I dust, I sneeze for hours. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm sure a little Elabri- Elabris? What is El- Elabris? <laughs> I'm sure with a little Elab- Elba grease, I can make this cabin shine. So are you volunteering to clean? No. Sure he was. <laughs> Not many supplies here. I guess we'll have to go out and get what we need. There's a fireplace for making stew, so let's gather up some firewood, okay? Who put you in charge, Mr. Squirrel Guy? Leave that to me, little guy. I'll tidy up around the cabin. N need to save Mariah from dry dying due to this dust, huh? Hey! Allergies are nothing to joke about, Karen. Why is her name Karen, and why does she have this stereotypical anime girl haircut with... That means she's gonna die. <laughs> she's not dead yet, Pipsqueak. Calm down. Thanks. Anatoly? Is that how you spell his name? Anatoly? I know it's French. He's French, I know that. I think I'll go foraging outside. With over... 450 mosses, 900 fungi, and 70 slime molds. There's bound to be a treasure up here. How do you know how much moss and fungi are around? Is that just something they put in the brochure, or have you been here before? Roughing it is fun. Anatoly knows so much about edible foods. We're in good hands. Yeah, I would hardly say a nice cabin with a good brick stove is roughing it. Roughing it would be a tent you pitched up yourself, having to make a campfire outside in the dirt to be able to do what you're doing. This is luxury compared to roughing it. <laughs> That's like going to those campsites that are all fancy and indoors and being like, Yeah, this is so roughing it, guys. I think slime molds would be most delicious. What is a slime mold? What is a slime mold? Because I just think of like the mini game bosses that are like really tiny in RPG games where it's just a bunch of slimes that you have to kill in order to get HP. <laughs> or not HP, but experience. Most certainly not. What about fungi? Do you even know which ones are poisonous, Anatoly? I, uh, I can figure it out. That's kind of a dangerous gamble. <laughs> Maybe you should leave it alone unless you know for 100% sure. I like how his little squirrel thing is being his cheerleader, like, yeah, you got this! <laughs> you can be the canary in the coal mine, Anatoly. But, huh? I'm not ending up a corpse here. Somehow I highly doubt that that's gonna come to fruition. Eek. Keep both eyes open, little guy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. Eh, they won't be a problem. I read up on different techniques to incapacitate them. Um, okay, whatever you say, you got bear spray with you? Number one is... Anatoly! Oh yeah, sorry, Mariah. Got carried away again. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? I'll help Anatoly look for food. Definitely better than at warding off wild animals. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. He's the, the nerd, the... the the lumberjack, the sweet girl who's probably not gonna be as sweet as she looks. Hello, good evening. The owl tuber? Nice to see you again. You're 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 at the start of this one this time. 
If we come empty-handed, we can always eat some food we've brought. Oh, so you did bring food, so why are you acting like you don't have any? What's the issue if you already have food? Why are we talking about poisonous mushrooms if you already brought food? Did you guys just like being panicky for no reason? You mean the emergency rations? Bad idea, chum. Hey, Anatoly and Mariah are getting food. Gregory is gathering the firewood. That makes you our designated chef. Me? What do you get to do? Oh wait, you're cleaning the cabin. My apologies. Should you be cleaning the cabin in a white outfit? It'll get all dirty. Everyone's looking at you expectantly. You nod. I thought we didn't have food other than emergency rations, so what do you expect me to cook for? The imaginary vegetables? Or are you gonna drug me again so the vegetables talk? <laughs> Very exciting to try your cooking. Alright everyone, let's get working. There's still sunlight. Later. See ya. Oh hi, you're still here. Hi. <laughs> Mariah. Anatoly. Gregor. The three exit the cabin, leaving you and Karen alone. I don't like this. Hi Karen. <laughs> I'm sure you don't have any ulterior motives whatsoever. I think Anatoly put supplies in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. You kind of volunteered me. I didn't ask for that. You were just kind of like, do it. And also, we're already in the kitchen. <laughs> to save the game, right click or hit the escape button on your keyboard to pull up the main menu. Pop. And then click an empty slot. Yeah, I already figured that out. Thanks to the demo. <laughs> the menu will also allow you to adjust the volume levels or exit to the title screen and view unlockables in the thing. Please note, going back to the main menu or exiting the game without saving will remove any progress you made. Be sure to save. Do you have any experience making meals? Actually, I cook sometimes. I bake too. Honestly, spaghetti is the most fun to make. It's actually not as easy as, or not as hard as some people think. And it's more than just sauce and noodles. Better butter them up. What? I didn't get to finish reading whatever that was. It just popped up in the corner of my screen. Of course. Probably not. I'm extremely lazy. Say nothing. Why do I feel like saying nothing would be the best option? <laughs> of course. I already said I cooked, so I guess I have to go with it because it's going to be annoying. Is that so? What's with the what's with the pause before that? Hmm. Looking at you. I think you'd be good at serving up food poisoning. Gee, you're a bitch, ain't you? I don't like you. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with the creepy face you had in the demo. Right? It looks like Karen will remember that. Remember what? That I told her I could cook and then I called her a bitch, because both are true. Anyways. Going to check out the living room. Let's talk later. Or we could not. <laughs> It's not an option? Can I just write you out of the story like I did Anna Manka in Doki Doki? I just erased her. Can I erase you? Is that an option? I don't trust you. Karen heads to the living room and starts dusting a bit. You decide to look around the kitchen to find the ingredients for the meal tonight. Even though we already established we don't have food here, we don't know how long it's been since everybody's been here. The food might be rotten as hell by now, and I also don't know what's hanging in the window. It looks like some sort of herbs. And maybe some onions? I don't know. Oh. Tutorial. You'll never know what you'll find around the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by searching the area more than once. Do I actually have that option now? Can I actually, like, poke around and search? Because that'd be cool. Why not give it a try? Which area do you want to search first? Oh! I actually can? I want to look in the drawers. You check the drawers on the left. Just some dirty knives. Maybe I should hide those. Maybe I should hide those knives so a certain someone that just walked in the living room can't get them. <laughs> Maybe I should just start casually taking the knives out and like hiding them behind the wood or something, hiding them somewhere. Just like, let's not. Um, the cupboards. The first few cupboards are empty. Anatoly must have put the supplies somewhere else, or he didn't bring any supplies behind the wood pile. Is cabbage gonna pop up in my face? There's nothing but cobwebs back here. Huh. Thankfully, no spiders. That's good, considering... Wait, didn't I already look everywhere? Cupboards. 
You check the cupboards again. Just some mouse turds and cobwebs. Yum yum. <laughs> Look. Uh, behind the wood pile. You look at the wood logs closer, huh? This is just a pile of Norway spruce. You could how do you tell that? You check the cupboards underneath the sink, huh? You found a dead mouse. Yeah, let me just stick that in my pocket. Why would that be a good gift to give Karen? Why would a dead mouse be a good gift to give a girl? Why would a dead mouse be a good gift to give anybody? Can I can I throw it out in the in the woods? You had it the de okay. I guess I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> that sounds that sounds healthy. Um. What? Why would I put it back in the cover? Karen's not ready for the death. Can I just throw it away? The Norway spruce won't burn as hot as logs from an oak tree. Those would be useless during snowfall. Ah, I feel like that's good information to keep in mind. You check the door, door above the mouse hole. Some kind of mold is growing in this one. Maybe Karen will find it appetizing. What the fuck is Karen? First you think I should give her a dead mouse. Now you're thinking she would think mold would be appetizing. Do I know she's some sort of weird demon? Like, I know I played the demo, but does that knowledge carry out to the game? I, am I a demon? Are we all demons? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Should I get the mouse? I, where did I put the mouse? I put it in the cupboard. Can I get the mouse back? <laughs> you notice the level... The level? The little. What's a little? You notice the letter L engraved on the side of the cupboard. What a fitting gravestone for a mouse. Is it, is it just going to keep going? The more I click, is there just going to be more? Won't fill the cabin with a heavy smell. You check the drawer above the wood pile. Huh? Something is making it difficult to open. You pull it open with all your might. Hey! Cabin! It's you guys! I didn't know you'd actually be in here. All, all, well, all five of you, maybe. It's time! Chomp at sound off. Whoop. Chumpets, Captain, you found the Chumpets. Onion! Never fear, Onion is here. Oh. <laughs> I forgot how deep his voice is. <laughs> like my cousin, Brad says, I will rise to the occasion. Always marry raspberry. Cabbage? Potato? Huh? Cabbage stuffed me into this drawer. I'm pretty sure it counts as kidnapping. Does it count as kidnapping if they're potato? Wouldn't it be potato theft? Wouldn't it be potato napping? <laughs> we are the chumpets. Yeah, I know. We met before. I don't know if you know that, but... Why talk with those boring humans? <gasps> I thought we were friends. <laughs> I'm hurt. <laughs> All they give you is drama. I mean, nowadays it seems like it. <laughs> Come chat with us instead. We'll share valuable recipes you can cook. We'll share our secret chat about recipes. Also, wouldn't that make you guys cannibals? Because you guys are food? Or is it because they're not sentient and you are? It's not cannibalism, but it's still really... <laughs> oh, I already read that. Collect them all to be a five-star chef. Are we actually going to get to cook in this one? Tutorial, you can unlock recipes in the main menu under extras, but be sure to save the game. Okay, I'm going to save the game because the game keeps telling me to save, so I'm going to save the game. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. To celebrate, here's your first recipe card. Roasted eggplant with some sesame seeds and pomegranate, meat-free. Ooh, all veggie. Good for vegetarians or vegans. Foods here, you found an unlockable recipe. Hmm? You unlocked your first recipe. Yeah. If you ever want to talk, just come back to the drawer. Wait, you guys are going to stay there? What happened to the hide-and-seek? Was that whole hide-and-seek thing just for the demo? Am I not going to get to find all of you guys again? Or did finding you in the demo make you end up here? 
Chumpets, roll out. Uh -huh. Let's move out. Oh, you are leaving. Mm -hmm. Cabbage rudely slams the door close. You wonder if you just saw a wizard. Yeah, I would be too. I'd be like, I think I've lost it. I think there's something in this cabin here that's making me hallucinate. You're slightly worried about what it means for your mental state. But only slightly. Only slightly? Only slightly? Okay, hello. Hello. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, I unlocked a recipe, it said. Hold on. And I'm gonna save it here, because I didn't know it would give me the recipe. And then title screen. Yes. There's probably gonna be a lot of going back to the title screen, if I'm honest. Oh, wait, what? I love how they give you, like, actual recipes for stuff. That's honestly really cool. <laughs> Let's see if these changed from the demo. Cabbage. Chompet. Profile. With so many cabbages dishes here, how could Cabbage not be the leader of the Chompets? Heck, she's even in the logo. Just don't let her tell you the complete history of how Puck it. I'm probably not saying that right. Demeter. 8 inches weight. 39 ounces. Pro tip. For an easier time, cut the cabbage in half and then cut the halves into quarters. Fun fact, cabbage has been cultivated for more than 6,000 years. Wow! Which, that's kind of amazing. I think these are the same. Onion Chumpet Profile. He'll make you cry, but also smile. Probably the MVP of the culinary world. But don't tell cabbage that. Diameter. 2.5 inches. Weight. 4.34 ounces. Pro tip, you can peel an onion without crying by running it under cold running water. Fun fact, onion contains sulfur compounds, which is probably why your eyes burn. Also, I wonder if that trick really works, because I've tried some onion cutting light packs and they never work. One time I was at church and someone was in the kitchen of the church peeling an onion and all the way across the cafeteria, people's eyes were burning. I don't know what kind of onion that was, but I have never smelled a stronger onion. Like, people had to literally walk out to the upstairs of the church just to get away from the burning of this onion. It was insane. <laughs> like, I don't know what kind of onion it was, but I have never seen, a, seen or smelled a stronger onion. It was bad. I could only imagine the poor person cutting it. They were probably sobbing. <laughs> Bread profile. No need to butter him up. He'll listen to concerns and belly aching. Just don't get stale. Nobody likes his stale. Size. Pretty big and pretty small. Wait, it depends. Pro tip. Don't eat too much of it. I could eat, I could eat, I'm a bread eater. Bread and veggies, I could eat those all day. Fun fact. A combine can harvest enough wheat in 9 seconds to make 70 loaves of bread. Which is insane. A lot of wheat also goes to like animal feed and stuff too though. <laughs> Raspberry Chumpet Profile. Always marry, no exceptions. She's definitely the sweetest of the bunch and will help you find your way out of a jam. <laughs> Size 36 inches. Just kidding. That's the plant height. Weight 0.18 ounces. Pro tip be sure it's a raspberry before eating it because some berries can be poisonous. Fun fact there are over 200 different types of known species of raspberry but only two are grown on a large scale, which I had no idea about before playing that game. This, this game, this is insane. Are these all the ones I already unlocked from the demo, or are they just here because of you? Because I don't think they've changed at all. Potato. Something's seriously wrong with Potato. He insists you learn the Harris-Benedict equation. Why? Diameter, 2.5 inches. Weight, 5.3 ounces. Pro tip. To peel them easier, use a knife and make a small ring around the center of the potato. Boil the potato for some time, then try peeling it. Fun fact, every day over 1 billion people eat potato. At least one potato. I've heard that potatoes are the most popular vegetable in the world. And I guess, I mean, I guess that's a good thing people are getting their potatoes, but like, I guess if you're eating it in fries, that's not the healthiest. But eating 
your body tells you what you need. Like, if you're craving something, it's because your body needs it. Everything in moderation is fine. Like, all these crazy diets, I don't understand. Like, you don't need a crazy diet. Um, Mariah, age 20 years old, height, small fry, energetic and always willing to learn, Mariah's can-do attitude is the glue that holds the group together. A lover of animals, her kind heart advocates for leaving them alone. Skill, keeping tensions simmered, and particle physics. Why do I feel like her actual attitude is going to be a complete opposite of what her profile says? Like, it says, I'm cute and funny and... and, and, and sweet, but also, I'm gonna stab you with a knife for the first chance I get. Like, I could see that being a thing. <laughs> like, eh. Like, do 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 guy with the squirrel. Anatoly. Profile, age, 25. Height, neither pipsqueak nor titan. He's fun size. Anatoly is rumored to be a worldly scholar. But that's bogus. He only pretends to read books. He never learned a single addition or subtraction, which is probably why he looks up to Mariah so much. Will you let Mariah have a taste or gobble him up for yourself? Skill, her biology, and illiteracy. The big, fleshy, tough guy. <laughs> Gregor, age 33, giant bean stock. Always the optimist, Gregor likes splitting firewood and eating things in one gulp, and helping out his friends. Gregor is a rare guy with a heart of gold. Will you take it from him? Skill. Optimist and can reach high shelves. Every small girl needs a tall guy, let me tell you. If not, we turn our, we turll our houses into a climbing gym. <laughs> Karen. Profile. Age 27. I don't think I got hers last time, did I? I got everybody else's so far, I don't think I got hers. Age 27, height, super tall, glass of water. Karen will chew you up and spit you out. If Gregor thinks the glass is always half full, Karen thinks the glass isn't full enough. She needs to be it to be clean all the time and would probably use something stronger than one. She's one tough cookie and a difficult walnut to crack. Maybe you can marinate that away. Skill. Mistrevelian nature has a knife. Mm, I don't like the has a knife part, but okay. Oh! I love how they're actual red recipes. That's so cool. Oh. It's a small recipe, too. Eggplant with sesame and pomegranate. Hmm. I think that's the last of the... So far. I think that all the things I got so far were from the demo. I don't know if it carries over if you do play the demo, but... Ooh, that was a abrupt change to the music. <laughs> uh, hey! Yeah, what's up? Did you find the supplies? Uh, no, but I think we need to go to a hospital. <laughs> you shake your head. And then totally lied. He actually put them in the bedroom. Why would he put the food in the bedroom? Why would he put the food in the bed? <laughs> Is he just not thinking straight? Or do you mean like the cutlery? Like the knives and forks and spoons? Because if he put that in the bedroom, I could understand. Because he wasn't paying attention and put everything in the bedroom. But if you're talking about food, he's not in charge of supplies anymore. Excuse me. I was talking about cooking, idiot. Here you go. Thank you. You got the emergency supplies. Oh, okay, see you then. Karen leaves you alone. You start a fire with some wood and get to working on cooking dinner. Tonight's entree, vegetable soup. Somehow that feels kind of wrong with all the veggies that I just talked to being in the cabinet, but okay. A large saucepan over medium heat with some water with potatoes, carrots, and celery in it. Fifteen minutes later, you drain the pan and set the vegetables aside. Whoa. I was like, what was that noise? Oh, jeez, I got scared by the sizzling sound. Here we go. <laughs> this does not feel right when there's sentient vegetables right in the drawer. I'm just making some vegetables too. Like, I didn't see nothing. My mind is fine. I did not just talk to a group of eddies. I'm just gonna keep cooking when nothing happened. I'm daydreaming. 
Throwing some chopped onions in, you cook it about 10 minutes. The onions are tender and translucent. Perfect. I feel like this game's gonna make everybody hungry. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Nah, no, you're good. Also, eh, don't scare me like that. Ow. <laughs> I popped when I did that. <laughs> you next mix some flour, salt, and pepper, and heavy cream into the saucepan, adding vegetables to the mixture. Yeah, this is definitely a game that'll make you hungry, so I apologize if you don't have a snack with you right now. Go and grab one, because it's going to be a rough ride. Hours pass. It takes hours to make vegetable stew. We're back! More firewood than you'll ever need. Well, that's good. At least we'll have plenty in case a storm comes in. We found some wild sorrel, or maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty. What is sorrel? I'm guessing it's a type of mushroom? And it's all he's burying the lead! We saw a red deer! <gasps> That'd be so cool. The closest I ever got to a deer, they came up to my grandma's, like... They came up right to my grandma's driveway in the middle of the day. It was, like, two older fawn, two older fawns, and their mom was off yeah, a distance away. The deer saw me in the window and stumping his foot and huffing, and I just looked at him and went, Oh, you're fine. And he just looked at me. <laughs> just stood there and then when it knew it was fine it just kept on its merry way I was like okay that was so cool M -m 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 Mariah spotted it why are you acting so bashful without seeing a deer Ooh, hello again yeah that's great anyways killed seven spiders today while you were looking at deer oh no I apologize for making you do that job <laughs> Whoa! Gah! That should come as no surprise. There are over f 160 species of spiders here. I'm sorry, what? We're leaving. Grab. Actually, leave the bags. Leave everything. Let's just go and burn the entire cabin down. Because <laughs> if there's over 160 spiders in this cabin, they're probably all over the stuff already. The stuff's lost. Let's just go. Actually, don't even burn the cabin. They can have it. Just as long as they don't come with us. I'm out of here. <laughs> Fuck that. Um. 160? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I would be out. I'd be like, okay, nope, let's find a different cabin. We're all, we're out of here. <clears throat> and don't worry, Mariah. I'm sure they were all in the bathroom or something. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, sure. Whatever you need to say. Yeah. <laughs> no. Almost all of them were near the ca- Yeah, nope, fuck that. Fuck that. I would be out so fast. <laughs> I would be like, gone. I'd leave the bag. I'd leave everything. and be like, we're, we're going home. I'm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not. I was gonna sleep on the couch. That's where 16 of them were. I'm not sleeping on the couch then. Um, there's only two beds in the bedroom. Eh, well, there's. I'm a girl. You two are girls. You guys. We could split it, girls and guys, and some or somebody could sleep on the floor, but then they'd be crawling with spiders. Actually, you know what? Why don't we just leave? I won't leave. We can take the cute little... I'm not sure if they were drug-induced, but we could take the little chopettes with us. They don't need to stay in this spider-infested place, either. Don't worry, Miss Ryan. I can sleep anywhere. I'll sleep in the rocking chair. Really? Don't sleep in the rocking chair. If it was a lazy boy, I could understand. Those things are comfortable, especially if you're all a smaller person. But don't sleep in the rocking chair. Especially as big as you are. Your back and neck would be terrible. <laughs> I'll sleep with one eye open just in case many of them swarm the couch. Thanks, Rager. Karen and Anatoly, you two take the bedroom. <laughs> Thanks, big guy. Joke's on you, Gregor. I always planned on taking one of the beds. Yeah, I had, mm, I had a feeling, Karen. Hey, Anatoly. I snore louder than a yumber yard. Hey. Sweet teams, chump. <laughs> you turn your back to your bubbling stew and try a bite. Oh, that actually does look really good. <laughs> this tastes pretty good. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> You cooked vegetable stew. First meal, you cooked your first dish well done. Technically, I didn't do anything, the game did, but okay. 
You set it on the table and ask everyone to dig in. Also, didn't we just say we didn't have any supplies? How did I get the stew? Oh, that looks cozy. Yeah, I like the tablecloth. Oh, wow, this smells delicious. Thank you. <clears throat> you must be a world class chef. Eh, no, but I try my best. Thank you, though. You're sweet. Karen takes a bite. Oh, something wrong? Or do you like it because you're blushing? It's bland as hell. Well, you know, Karen... It tastes like every other vegetable stew I've had. So generic. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were a food critic, Snobby. Could probably use some meat next time. Gross. For a side dish, we should try and bake some... I could have put the rat in it, you know. If you want to be snarky, I did find a rat in the cabin. And it told... In the cabinet. And it told me to give it to you. Is that what you wanted? You wanted rat meat? Yeah. Uh, where was I? <laughs> For a side dish, we could bake some bread and utilize the... Oh no. Oh no. Frogaria Vesca? Also known as strawberries for some jam. Or I didn't. Fragrania Vesca. I'm probably gonna butcher all these sayings. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Nobody cares, Pipsqueak. Everybody laughs at Karen's polite ribbing. Nothing makes you happier than a great meal for friends. This could very well be the best meal you've ever had. Oh, that's actually kind of cozy. You get... You go to bed stuffed. Day zero? Why are we counting the days? Why are we counting the days? Why are we counting the days? What is gonna happen? I don't like that we're counting the days. That never bodes well for anybody. Hi, Gregor. Hey, you up? Uh, yes, I am now. How'd you sleep? I was so warm last night, I didn't even need my blanket. I guess that's good. Ooh. You look like you need coffee. <laughs> or uh, a nap. What, what time is it? About an hour until dawn. Whoa, she's pissed. Were you two piped out? I'm trying to sleep over here. <sighs> uh. Gregor, the birds aren't even making much noise yet. We didn't bring much surprise, remember? It's best to get a head start in gathering food. Again! If you didn't have food, where did the meal I just made come from? Because <laughs> you said we didn't have a lot of emergency provision. Honestly, I can't see the trees outside right now. Actually, I can. They're right outside the window. I think you guys are exaggerating. Jeez, you did! Uh, did you see any spiders last night? There were some small ones in the bedroom. <laughs> Actually, I did see a centipede by the sneak. Mariah turns a little pale. Karen's messing with you, Mariah. Let's find more wild snarl today. Is that a mushroom? Is that what a snarl is? Gah! If you're a lucky, little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout. Ooh, fe fresh fish? That's hard to say. Fresh fish, fresh fish. <laughs> What's with me? You and meat, big guy. I'm guessing you're the vegetarian of the group. Anatoly's herbology had to get the Anatoly's herbology book states that there are more species of plants to eat out here. Let's leave the fish alone. Oh, are you both vegetarian? Oh, I'll keep that in mind. I'll make meat and vegetarian meals from now on so everybody gets something to eat that they're happy with since somebody was complaining that there wasn't any meat to eat you know I'm not into meat no that's okay why would you say it like that though <laughs> like I can make vegetarian for you and for Anatoly I'm bad with names I'm sorry if I have to like try to get your names I apologize that's a shame I'd wake up early to go fishing. Well then go with him, for Pete's sake. You are up early and he wants to go fishing, so you two get the meat and they can find the veggies. And I'll make a meat stew and a veggie stew. So that way everybody's happy. Clear? Good. Go. Cheer up, <laughs> Karen. We'll go get to observe the trout at the very least. Or why can you not just two of you go fishing I'll make two separate stews. Why does it have to be an argument? You guys are so picky. 
Maybe we'll see more red tier there today. <clears throat> Karen. That sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. Huh. I feel like these two are the grumpy and sunshine of the group. And these two are just... The nerdy friends that might like each other and they're awkward about it. <laughs> Maybe we can find some blackthorn berries. I love blackthorn berries! What are blackthorn berries? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll be back later and watch... Can you watch our stuff today? What am I supposed to be watching? Can't we lock the door? You know. Thank you. Thanks. Actually, please don't leave me alone in here. I have a feeling something's gonna go horribly wrong. And watch... Can you watch our stuff today? What am I supposed to be watching? I'm gonna... Hold on. Let me... I'm gonna go back to the main menu to figure out the game real quick. Turn this up just a smidge. So people can hear the background music. And there we go. Wait, I didn't even have to leave the game for that. Okay. Don't steal anything, okay? Well, excuse you, where am I gonna run to if you... I know, I'm just complacent. I'm like, yes, I won't steal anything. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen leave the cabin. Without when there's that. Hmm. You're alone, but thankfully you have a drawer of trap pads to keep you company. Oh great, so you're telling me my hallucinations are back. Somebody drugged the floor the the floor? Somebody drugged the floor. No, somebody drugged the food. Tutorial. Each day you'll be asked to explore a different part of the cabin. Oh, so I can't just go exploring whenever I want. Also, why are we counting the days? That seems ominous. And what kind of vacation is this supposed to be anyway? Because it doesn't seem like a very inviting one. Also, is that a... I can't tell. Is that a tiny violin? That looks like a tiny violin. Oh wait, no, I know what it is. It's like yarn needles for knitting. Do any of us knit? Who brought the knitting? The knitting. You get one choice, then the day will end. Choose wisely. Gee, no pressure! <laughs> what do you want to check today? Talk with the choppets, check out the bedroom, look around the bathroom, go to the- I'm not going to the basement. <laughs> no. <sighs> um, I think I can save over that one. Um... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's just talking about food. Should I talk with my hallucinations again, or check the bedroom? I don't check out the bedroom. That's interesting. Karen and Anatoly kept it room pretty clean. Only one of them made the reds, probably Anatoly. <laughs> Who still makes the red? Excuse you! I do. I didn't realize that was a thing to get mean about. You look underneath one of them. Huh. You found some extra emergency supplies. Always nice, always nice. You decide to look through them and plan your next meal. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello! I was not snooping in the bedrooms, I was doing none of that. You did not know I was snooping in the bedrooms. Also, I didn't get to look at anything cool. I'm pretty sure there's a bone under the floorboard, but nothing let me click on it. Other, I didn't get to click on anything. My game just kind of told me what I was going to do. Be are back. I can see that. <laughs> Knock it off, Mariah. What? Pretty rare to be scared of one. Scared of what? What happened while you guys were out? What did I have missed? <laughs> Spill it. it! It's not! What are you scared of? Was it a raccoon? <laughs> Who knew the big guy would be so scared of- Spit it out! What are you so afraid of? Is it... Shut up! <gasps> you don't understand. I don't think anyone understands, Gregor. <gasps> what if he's afraid of bunnies? Oh, that'd be so cute. <laughs> the big guy is afraid of bunny. It was just a marmot. 
Marmot. Greg, you're not a monster. Oh. Mariah laughs so hard your ears ring. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's a bit excessive. Tears roll down Mariah's cheeks. She's laughing so hard she's about to hibernate. Or breathe! I, I get that too, but breathe! Stop my Raya from hyperventilating? Uh, absolutely not. Alright! Well, you guys are just terrible friends then. You're just gonna keep laughing until she kills over. Just watch it happen. One less mouth to feed, right? What the hell, guys? <laughs> no! What are we doing? What kind of friends? You don't get it! It's pretty personal. <clears throat> then please explain, big guy. Okay, look at the nerd with the laptop. I'm a nerd too, so I can tell that. Gregor looks incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> Leave him alone. We found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. Ooh. Quite a selection of berries. We found more wild snore. I'm pretty sure those are mushrooms. Is this going to be enough for a good meal? Um, yeah, because I found some emergency rations in the, in the bedrooms that I totally was not snooping through. That didn't let me look at anything cool. Everyone is looking at you for an answer. You decide- <gasps> Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Um, so there's a day countdown counter. And I have a choice what rooms to investigate on what day. What if I don't uncover the mystery in time to be... Betrayed by my friends and they eat me. What if I'm on like a timer I didn't even realize I was on? Well, too late now. <laughs> I ain't going to that basement. I don't know what's down there. It's nothing good. I don't think. Also, was the hide and seek thing just from the demo? Because that hasn't come up yet. You decide to do an inventory full of all the available ingredients. It takes you a while, but you decide your specialty. Cabbage rolls. You know, whenever we get Chinese food, I never eat the cabbage rolls. The only way I really like cabbage is when we make cabbage sausage and potato stew. You first bring a large pot of water to a boil. <coughs> you let the cabbage leaves boil for two minutes, dr draining the pot into the sink. In a medium mixing bowl, you combine some cooked rice, onion, and eggs, salt, pepper, along with some tomato sauce. You put tomato sauce in it? There's tomato sauce in, in cabbage rolls? Really? Huh. I'm trying to decide if that would be good or not. I mean, I'm, I'm a person that when I try new foods, I always try everything once. Because how do you know you're not going to like something? Unless you're allergic! Unless you are allergic, how do you know you're gonna like something if you don't try it at least once? Except for squid and octopus. Squid and octopus I will never try because I don't like the suckers. The suckers can stick to the inside of your throat and I'm not dealing with it. No, uh, no, thank you. I'm not, I'm not going there. <laughs> but I'm usually the taste tester in the family because I am willing to try everything once because you never know if you like something if you don't try. So maybe it would be better with tomato sauce than without it. Because without it, I don't like egg rolls or cabbage rolls. <laughs> maybe I'm thinking egg rolls. <laughs> I don't think I've had cabbage rolls, actually. Have I? Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm all confused. This, this game is definitely going to make me hungry. Um, You wash your hands to mix thoroughly and then decide to wash your hands after. It won't come off. Dividing the rice mixture evenly between the cabbage leaves, you then roll them up and tie a string around them so they stay in one piece. You place the cabbage roll in a large skillet on medium heat, pouring the rest of the tomato mixture over the top. Covering it, you bring it to a boil. You reduce the heat to a low and let the cabbage roll simmer for about 40 minutes, being sure to baste it with the liquid. Everyone's so quiet, they're just staring at me. Oh, actually, that does look kind of good. That looks really good! What is it with animated food looking absolutely scrumptious? I don't understand. <laughs> Every time I see animated food, I'm like, oh, yum. No, something I do want to try is like, um... Oh, I had it in my head and now it's gone. My brain said you're not going to say it. 
I want to try uh, rice balls. Rice balls, that's what they are. Those always look so good in anime. They look so good. I'm like, I want to try one one time. You cooked the cabbage rolls. Mariah looks optimistic. Karen looks skeptical. Anatoly looks curious. And Gregor looks thrilled. I'm pretty sure Gregor would eat literally anything I put in front of him because of his his like profile thing. Also, why do they have like dating profiles? Is this some weird like date date meetup? <laughs> Because they all have like profiles like they're on some dating website and now we're here in this creepy cabin in the middle of Timbuktu for all I know. You watch intently as everyone takes the first bite. It's so cozy again. Also, do you guys ever go to a restaurant to eat with family and then every time you take a bite it never fails. Every time you take a bite the waiter asks you stuff. And you're like, huh, trying to answer, but your mouth is full and you don't want to be rude. <laughs> it's like, every time without fail, they ask me a question as soon as I pop a bite into my mouth. Hmm, that's pretty damn good. Wow, I could eat the whole batch myself. Maybe I should make some more. <laughs> I think the vegetable stew tasted better, but I'm loving how tender the cabbage is. The sauce is pretty red. Yeah, it is tomato sauce. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? Actually, it came from our emergency supplies, so I don't know if they're fresh or not, but I'm, I'm assuming it would be red because it's tomatoes, honey. It really adds to it. Spoon some of the liquid on top of it. You'll thank me later. And it totally, huh? Incredible! It's definitely growing on me. Thanks for cooking. It really is something special. So you liked that, but not what I made last time? I don't get what the difference is. Was it the tomatoes? Was that what the other dish was making? missing? I don't think you'd put tomatoes in vegetables to do. Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you to do. Oh, gee, thanks. I cook and I gotta do the dishes? You guys could at least do that part. No, I'm kidding. I'll get it. Whoa, everything's dark. Why is everything dark? What is happening? Not happening. What's not happening? Oh, you settle in and go to bed. Everyone goes to bed full. Tomorrow will be another eight day. Day two. I was like, everything is dark. What happened? Apparently, no, everybody said fuck the dishes. Which is probably a bad thing to do when we already have spiders crawling everywhere. We don't want ants to. Good morning, everyone. What, are you just our rooster? <laughs> are you going to be the one that wakes us up in the morning? Yeah. Maybe I should get a co- did we bring a coffee pot or a percolator or something to make coffee? This girl looks pissed again. <laughs> Maybe we should bring coffee just to perk everybody up. Does anybody else get migraines when they don't have at least one cup of coffee? I don't know what's up with that. Like I have one cup of coffee in a day and if I don't have that coffee in a day, my head is like, whoa. Like, I mean, sick to my stomach, it might throw up kind of migraines. I don't know, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Again, Gregor! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can you let us sleep in? Not today. Why? No, I'm genuinely asking why? Storm clouds are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. <clears throat> Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Whoop. Enough food? I thought we used most of the supplies for last night's dinner. He's right. The meal you made was delicious, but it, it used a lot of what we had. I mean, you guys didn't plan this trip out very well unless Gregor was planning on going hunting. Because we can't be, like, if we could snag us at least one deer, I'm sure we have enough vegetables to make a vegetable stew and, like, a beef stew, so that way we could, like, Ration out the deer through the week and the veggies too. And like you said, there are plenty of berries by the house. So I could make like jam and we can have toast. Did we bring bread? Anyway, I'm just trying to make sure everybody's fed for longer than a day. <laughs> It'd be foolish not to go out and look for food today. You really think it will flood? Thankfully, the cabin is on high ground, but that doesn't mean we're safe from floodwaters. Uh, well, if this even- if this cabin will hold up through the rain, that is. It's always a possibility, so it can't hurt to be prepared. 
Hmm. You're losing it, Gregor. Uh, no, actually, he's pretty rational on that thought. <laughs> Karen! There's nothing to worry about. Hmm. I think Gregor's right, Karen. Huh? It won't hurt to prepare for the worst. Exactly! Prepare for the worst. Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. I mean, that's all you can do. If you walk around thinking oh, nothing will happen to you, that's when something bad will happen to you. <laughs> hmm. I think she's right, Karen. Fail to prepare, f prepare to fail. Oh, that was almost hard to say. Anatoly, let's get out and prepare for the storm. Forging should be a key priority today. There are plenty of edible foods, and it's better odds than trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes, and I'll plot out our route for some paper. Let me help, little guy. They're like the buddy comedy, like the big tall guy and the tiny little guy. Anatoly and Gregor head to the bedroom to consult the map. Mariah and Karen are still hanging around. Unfortunately, in life, you can't make everyone happy. When given a choice, speak to a character, choose wisely. You can only select one of them. Also, what is with these high-pressure situations? Actually, I can pick as many options as I want as long as I save, so... <laughs> Try maxing out your bond with a certain character for unique dialogue and scenarios. Wait, seriously? We get unique dialogue and stuff? That's so cool! That's honestly really cool. Which would you like to talk to? Mm -hmm. I feel like if I don't talk to Karen, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> Maybe literally. <laughs> she's the one over there making knives. Uh, Mariah seems nice. She was the... Nothing to see here. I'm not cheating. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing. Hold on, I'm gonna talk to. If I talk to Mariah, will her face go all creepy again? Or that one? Yeah, that no, that was Karen, not Mariah. Hi. Don't kill me. <laughs> I just want to be friends. Can we get along? Hi. Uh, this paper nailed to the wall looks pretty ancient. What were the old days like? I'm supposed to know? Aren't I the same age as you guys? I'm, I'm in the same age as you guys. How would I know? I'm not sure what you mean. Extremely brutal. Not bad as the... How old am I supposed to be? I'm not sure what you mean. Never mind. You must enjoy these antiques, huh? You bore Karen with some... Brief yet dull depictions of the items lying around. Cool. I'll uh tell the others later. What? I'm huh? Aren't I What? Aren't I with them? Or am I like the old cabin owner? Who am I supposed to be in this scenario? I don't know. Karen looks disturbed, but you asked! Why are you gonna say you're disturbed when you literally asked about it? Seeing how you're doing, play Slay the Princess, you'll love it. I do have that one in my wish list. I don't know if I'll always do game recommendations because I kind of play what I feel like playing at the time. Because if I'm not feeling like playing it, it's not going to be fun because I'm like forcing myself to do it, you know? I only played uh, Cooking Companions because like, oh, this looks cute. And then it turns out there's a demon in the basement. Spoiler alert to those of you who haven't seen me play the demo, <laughs> but that got a little crazy But I might look into it. It just depends on when I feel like playing it You hear a loud laugh from the other room Was that Gregor? I thought they, okay, they didn't leave yet. Okay. <laughs> I was like who's laughing? I, f I forgot they didn't leave uh, Gregor and Anatoly come back from their meeting. Gregor is blushing slightly. He seems awfully bashful for such a big guy. He's a gentle giant. Hello, welcome back. Hey, did you figure out where you were going? Uh, can you cook something while you're out? I thought the whole reason you guys were going out is because I didn't have any food left to cook with. 
Do we have food or do we not? What is going on here? You nod. Thank you. Alright everyone. We have our roots now. Let's beat these rain clouds. The group leaves determined as ever. You have the whole cabin all to yourself. What the fuck? What's that noise? It sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Oh, I don't even get the choice of what room to go to. Huh? Radio? What's going on with that radio? Didn't even notice it was on the ground when you walked in. Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. Also, if I didn't notice the radio on the floor, how did it get there? Unless the chopettes put it there. Or there's something else roaming about. It seems broken. Better hold on to this. You got a strange radio. Before you cook dinner, what should you check out? I don't want to go to the basement. I don't want to go to the basement. Hold on. I'm gonna... I wanna... See... If I got anything. Wait, that's loud. <laughs> that's really cabbage! loud. Wanna see if I got anything new. Oh, I did. I didn't think I did. Oh, it's just a picture of my seating. That was the stew. Did they get a picture of us eating the cabbage stuff? Huh. Doesn't seem like it. I just noticed the end of the scroll wheel is a little salt or pepper shaker. That's cute. Hmm. <coughs> Inspect the kitchen. I feel like I already looked around the kitchen enough, although I did put the rat back in the drawer. <laughs> Look around the bathroom. Oh, it does have a bathroom. I thought maybe it'd be like an outhouse sort of situation. Hey. Um. You remember the old tale about... A child who said the killer's name three times into the mirror. Oh, the amount of times we played Bloody Mary when we were little. That was all over everywhere in middle school. All the kids were like, oh, you should play Bloody Mary. Go into the mat, go into a room without windows and turn off the lights and light and like say it into the mirror three times and she'll get you. And like, huh. Mm -hmm. That was, everyone was obsessed with like the Bloody Mary thing in middle school. I personally, for one, just think you should leave all that creepy stuff in there. <laughs> because... Uh, but you can't remember how it ended. What do you mean you can't remember how it ended? <laughs> You're too frightened to even try it. You leave the bathroom a little more scared than when you entered. Yeah? Uh, am I not actually gonna look around the rooms? Because in the demo I felt like I could actually click on stuff. Mariah's back early today. Whoa, what happened to you? You look like you saw a ghost. You okay? Hey, the others are still looking for food outside. And I totally found some more- Are you okay? You can talk about it, like what happened? But nothing will feed all of us. I'm sure we'll be fine, I can make something. You can stretch a lot a long way, depending. Please don't tell the others. I'm a little worried about our supplies. I crunched the numbers and we don't have enough food even with rationing. To it to last if there's a big storm and if we get stuck here. Well, I'm, didn't we come here from like a town? We could all hike back out of town and like see if we can find a market or something. Mariah seemed a disappointment in your involuntary management. Inventory. Hold up! There are five of us! Why am I the one getting blamed because you guys didn't bring up food either? <laughs> like, what? We are all on this trip, don't blame me. Can you try cooking with a little less this evening? You're not. Thank you, you've done such a great job with the meal so far. You're very sweet. Well, your attitude changed on a dime. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> Is Mariah brushing a little bit? Brushing? Blushing. <laughs> Mariah will remember that. Remember what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I literally didn't do anything.
something. I'm so confused. <laughs> I didn't choose an option. I, I did. I guess I did ask if she was okay. Your relationship is stronger. Maybe you can teach me to cook someday. You know, actually, that'd be kind of fun. I can try. I mean, I'm not the best teacher, but I'll try. Looking forward to it. Hey, we could hold cooking classes here someday. You know, I don't think the cabin cooking, the cabin cooking, I don't think the cabin kitchen is big enough for that. Um, what if you, what if you're the grandma and every answer determines how sensitive they think you are? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about this game outside of the demo and the fact that there's a creepy ghost in the, in the, in the basement, which I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go to the basement. <laughs> well, you could drag me down there kicking and screaming, but I ain't going down there, says the one that played Phasmophobia and would willingly run into the houses alone. <laughs> Just because I wanted to see what would happen. Anywho, hey. Oh, I already read that. Rudely interrupting a tender moment, the others burst into the cabin. We're back, guys! Come in! Nothing was going on. Hello. Did you find anything? Don't be so down, everyone. We got tons of good berries. Ooh, we could make jam. Phew. Jam is so bland without any sugar. Gee, you really do look at everything with the glass half empty, don't you? You even have any sugar? You shake your head sadly. Yikes. Turn that frown upside down, Karen. I mean, her name is perfectly fitting with with her her personality. I swear, like such a sourpuss. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Yeah. Hmm. You missed out. The sunset was really tremendous on our way back. Hues of orange, red, and even a little purple poking out. A red sky at night. A sailor's delight. Well, that was pretty. Red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning. So we can expect a sailor's delight tomorrow? That's awesome! You're such an optimist, big guy. All these characters are like completely different from each other. Not sensitive, you know. Oh, sorry. The heart. There's a heart at the. in the chat box that blocks what people are saying. For some reason. I don't, I don't like it there. I wish we could move it, but we can't. So it cuts off words in the comments. You must have walked a few miles today. Gorgeous sights. You could even see snow on the tips of the mountains. I guess everybody's hungry. Was that a stomach growl or a growl growl? Hi! Welcome, I need a little life. I hope you enjoy the stream. Also, you might get a little hungry watching this, <laughs> so grab a snack if you're gonna stay for a while. I know it's making me hungry. There's a lot of talk of food. The rumbling sounds like a dying calf. I wouldn't have called it that. I'd have called it more a growl, but okay. Um, if you look from person to person, trying to determine who it was. <laughs> I bet it was Craig. It was definitely Mariah. Mariah! I'd recognize that sound from anywhere. Gah! Guilty. <laughs> you guys are hungry. I can whip something up real quick. Raya looks embarrassed. What is it about being embarrassed just because your stomach's growling? Being hungry is a part of life. But the group laughs at her honestly. Except for you. Huh? You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. <clears throat> to those who do have it, those who do have it, do not want it. Those who have it, at least, succeed. Hmm. To those who have it, they don't want it. To those who have it, at least, succeed. Those who have it, don't want it. Hmm. Those who have it, don't want it. Those who have it at least succeed. A job? <laughs> is that what it is? A lot of people don't want a job, but if they have it, they're at least succeeding at something. That's probably not it. Um, those who have it don't want it. Those who have it at least succeed. 
Hmm. I don't know. You can't succeed. Those who have it don't want it. Those who have it wait for too long perish. Breath? When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? When you feed it, it gets smaller. Those who have it don't want it. Wait, is there a way to replay that? Can I? Hmm. Those who have it don't want it. Those who have it at least succeed. Those who wait too long perish. Feed, feed me and I get smaller. Huh? I would say knowledge, but feeding knowledge would mean you get bigger, not smaller. Hmm. What is it? Hmm. Dust? Uh, I don't know. Try again, big guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. Yeah, same. Mariah's face lights up. I got it. It's hunger. Oh. That makes sense. <laughs> hey, you got it, Furyhound. Sorry, I just saw your comment. Correct! Yeah, I was going to guess that. Uh-huh, sure. Here we are. So, uh, what's on the menu tonight, Chef? Bread and jam. You crush the berries in your small morgel and pestle, spreading it on some crusty bread. Homemade jam is so good. <laughs> Homemade jam is so good. Fresh strawberry jam picked right from the garden, and you make it and can it yourself. Oh, yum. Sorry, I grew up with my grandma doing that because she has strawberry patches in her garden. It's really good, especially on her homemade fresh bread. <laughs> the only thing I'm not homemade in that scenario is the better, but still, oh yum. <laughs> she makes all different kinds of jams. She makes um, raspberry, um, peach butter, peach butter is so good, and then her strawberry jam. I don't know if she's ever made blueberry jam. I don't think she likes blueberries much. That's you cooked raspberries and jam. That bread's a little tough, though. Grigor, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. But this is homemade jam is to die for. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. We get there sometimes. Nobody likes stale bread. No, you're right, Grigor. This bread stinks. Mariah! Everybody laughs. You're not sure this could be called a meal, but it got the job done. Everyone thanks you for dinner and heads off to sleep. Oh, everything's going black again. Everybody run! You go to bed wishing you had more. You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back? Is it a giant spider? Are the spiders back? Are they back? I don't want them to be back. And it's becoming a nuisance? You try to see it in the mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. You try almost everything, but it won't get off. The pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. Yeah, it's a spider, isn't it? You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by the river to soak your pain in the cold water. You didn't want things to come- I should put my water down before something jump scares me and I splash water all over my face. I was holding my cup of water because I took a drink, or was going to take a drink. And if I get jump scared with a cup of water in my face, it's going to be a mess. Um, you didn't want things to come to this, but you've exhausted all other options. You swim out to the middle. Rocks on the bottom cut your feet, and you slip and fall to your knees. You lean back, trying to submerge the thing under the waters. But it won't drown. It won't drown. It won't drown. What is going on? Am I? What if I'm actually sleepwalking? What if I'm sleepwalking and not dreaming? Well, that begs the question, what the fuck is on my back? Hmm? Plunging your head beneath the water, the current takes you downstream. You try swimming to the shore, but it's no use. 
The water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. You gaze up at the sky. You feel it leaving your back, drifting into the sky as you sink toward the bottom. Was it a bird? As you take your last gasp, you see what was on your back staring into your eyes. But you don't even have enough air in your lungs to scream. You wake in a cold sweat. Wah! See? Glad I put my water down. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it looked like the grunge. Sorry, didn't mean to scare it. It's like screaming everybody's ear. Just a dream, right? Yeah, I have a feeling it was not. Wake up! Sorry, you're making strange noises in your sleep. Mm-hmm, sure I was. Oop, woke everybody up again. Sorry, I may or may not have been dreaming. I apologize for the inconvenience. What's going on, Gregor? Did the lightning wake you up? <sighs> it woke me up. I tried to fall asleep, but it's so loud. Ugh. Let's just get back to sleep and talk about this in the morning. Everyone nods in agreement and gets back in bed. You know, actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm good. I'll cook breakfast. Oh no, not again. Except for you. You can't fall back asleep. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't think I did. Night terrors are the fucking worst. Speaking as someone that actually used to experience night terrors, when you can see your room like you're awake but the nightmare continues that is fucking terrifying and like you literally cannot move it doesn't feel like something's sitting on you you just can't move or do you, do you guys ever have those dreams where it's like you're right on the cusp of like falling asleep right and all of a sudden a hand will lunge right in your face or another person's face will lunge in your face do you guys ever get those dreams Cause like they'll jerk me awake in a sec. It's I I I've never been able to describe them. They're not like night terrors. Like night terrors don't bother me anymore because I've somehow learned how to recognize when I was in a night terror, and I've learned that I can scream myself awake through the dream. Like the dream, my dream self can scream to my sleeping self to wake myself up. I had no idea how I figured out how to wake myself up from a night terror, but I did. I learned that I could scream myself awake in a night terror. I guess it was just having them as long as I did that taught me how to, like, get myself out of one. But for whatever reason, when I do have those weird dreams of, like, the hand in the face or another face in my face, it just instantly wakes me up. And I've never been able to figure out what they mean, why they happen, or what's going on. Um, I've had dreams when I turned into a dinosaur and was being chased by a T-Rex. <laughs> oh no. I've had a lot of dreams. Like, when I was little, from like, from like, as long as I can remember back, until I was 16, 17, when I wrote it down, I had this dream where I was going to babysit this little nine-year-old girl. She never aged. She never aged. I aged in the dream, but the little girl never aged. She was like nine years old. She had this like wh white tank top with this like green and purple like star with the design you could flip around, like that design. And I was, my parents dropped me off at her house because my parents and her parents were gonna go hang out and do whatever they were gonna do. Well, they left me to babysit the girl. And the girl was like, can we go out inside and play? So I was like, yeah, sure, it's a nice day, but you stay here while I go and get the toys from the garage. And for whatever reason, this garage was like a 30 minute walk away from the house. Cause they live in like the woods in like a trailer area. So I went and got the toys. That's a hour walk altogether. And when I get back, this girl is nowhere to be found. I'm tearing apart this trailer. I'm looking everywhere i'm screaming her name like trying to find her i find nothing no one and then finally i go out in the backyard and there's this piece of paper on the ground with an address it's the only lead i have to go on for some reason i didn't call the cops i decided let's go do it myself let's go find this girl myself bad idea never do that if you are in the situation call the cops immediately 
do not go do what my dream self did. So my dream self decides, I'm going to go to this address, which turns out to be this creepy-ass abandoned warehouse. I go in. Without a second thought, I'm like, fuck my own life. I gotta save this little girl. So I go into this warehouse. Can't find her for anything. I'm trying to be as quiet and as quick as I can. And it turns out the girl is tied up in this basement with these two armed guards protecting her, like guarding her. I don't know what they wanted from her. I don't know why they took her. I don't know anything. I just know I gotta get this girl out of there. So I sneak around the guards and I start untying her hands, telling her, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, being as quiet as I can. And that's when one of the guards shifts and sees me. And I'm like, oh, fuck, untie yourself. Just I'll handle them. So I like get in a tussle with the first guard, manage to knock the gun out of his hand and knock him to the ground. I think he's unconscious. So I start working on fighting the other dude, and while I was fighting the other dude, the first dude got his gun and shot me. And as I was falling to the ground, I just see the girl running and the dude's giving chase. And then I always wake up. I wake up before I hit the ground. I don't know what the guys wanted from the girl. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they took her. I don't know what they plan to do with her. I don't know if she got away. And that dream happened for as long as I can remember up until I wrote it down when I was almost 17. So I don't And it always happened around the start of summer. And that's why I can remember it so vividly is because it happened at the start of summer every year for years. And I still cannot explain it. I guess you might, maybe it's a past life. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um... I don't know. I mean, Jurassic Park. I mean, realistic to the point of thinking I got transmigrated. That's pretty realistic. Anyway, I got on a tangent. Sorry. You still have goosebumps from the nightmare. Hmm. Karen's snoring is louder than a sawmill. You find it very loud and very distracting. You can't sleep a wink, and everyone is now up and awake in the cabin. You hear the front door quickly slam shut. Anatoly sounds petrified. Okay, you're the second one to come in running and scared. What is going on? I looked out the door and we're completely surrounded by floodwaters. Looks like the sailor's take warning is more of appropriate for today. Hmm. Maybe it'll clear up tomorrow? <gasps> Whoa. What was that? You, you can't steal the guy's optimism, Karen. I mean, you can't really steal optimism. <laughs> Why the hell not? That's all he's going to do for him. Wow. Wow, bitch. I don't like her. <laughs> he, he's so good at chopping wood, though. <laughs> Knock it off, you two. Mariah, do you think it'll clear up tomorrow? I get a bit of a 20% chance of clearing up tomorrow. Based on what? I was bored stiff, so I read a book on precipitation levels for the last 24 hours in the living room. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like you're stealing Anatoly's thunder. Anatoly, you're the book nerd, right? You don't have to be one certain thing! What are we in the fucking Divergent universe? <laughs> you're, you're, you're erudite? Erudite's the smart one. Are you erudite? Are you... You're probably candor, because you can't shut your mouth. You are... You'd be Amity. Or would you be Amity? Because you like, you like plants. I don't know. Right? And my point is we're not in Divergent. You don't have to be in different factions. Why, didn't you read it? Uh, couldn't make out the... Past the cover. He sounds like Bartholomew, one of my um, friends d d characters. For some reason, he made him a king that can't read. <laughs> I guess he's a bird, but still. Y y yes. Hmm. That bookshelf had some great books on artisans, crafting, and natural sciences. Why let them sit there gathering dust? How did you arrive at 20% chance of it clearing up tomorrow? 
What was that noise? Was that the wind of the game? I don't know. That was weird. Anyway. Take the time of year and multiply the factor of... Hmm? Mariah begins to explain meteorology to you. <laughs> she isn't dumbing anything down. It's similar to... What the fuck? Better blah. Equals zero, where... So, the first thing you need to understand, minutes of explanation feel like hours. You look over at Anatoly. He's listening intently to Mariah. So intently, he hasn't blinked yet. Um, you might want to blink. You can see his eye- Ew, blink, baby, blink! Why are we not- Imagine being so bored you read about the weather. Cough, don't feel called out at all. Cough, wait, you've done that before? <laughs> I mean, hey, you read whatever you want to read. I have books on gems. I like reading about gems. Tears will down. Blink, boy, blink. Jeez, he beats. It's brutal to watch. Yeah, no kidding. Mariah finally wraps up. No, oh, not too much. A little on the creepy side. She heads with a bow. <clears throat> Nobody claps. Tough crowd. M Mariah, that was inspiring. I'm sure. Um. Uh, you lost me a few minutes in, but that's okay. I didn't understand a word of it, huh? I didn't hear a word of it, because it skipped through a lot, but we're gonna... <laughs> and totally turns to you. Anyway, there's no telling how long this will last. We can't leave the cabin until this flood water stops. Well, didn't you say there were a bunch of bushes of berries close to the cabin? I'm sure we could reach those if the cabin is really above the flood water levels. I know our food situation is a little tight, but I know you'll make it the right decision. Why are you looking at me like that? I believe in you. Huh, me too. Okay. Uh, you know, do we have an emergency radio? Maybe we could radio for a helicopter to come pick us up. If the situation gets too dire? I mean, if you knew you were going camping out here, it would have been good to bring a CB radio. Or some way to communicate with the outside world. It looks like we have enough leftover berries and more bread and raspberry jam. I'll pass on the jam, but just give me more crusty bread. Are you sure? If you're really stuck here, you need all the calories you can get. Everyone laughs, except for you. With everyone stranded in the cabin, you need to keep everyone fed and happy. You sneak out to the kitchen while everyone's still talking. Oh no. You get out the crusty bread and start making some more jam. With the kitchen to yourself, you decide to check on the chompettes. I was wondering when they were going to come back into the story. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Their food. Their food. Are we going to have to eat them? Are we going to have to eat these cute little veggies? I don't want to. I just watched documentaries about relationships of hamsters, and they're running on wheels yesterday. Oh, that sounds adorable. <laughs> Hello. Don't worry. As the leader of the chip ups, I'll make sure. Yep, 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 yep. That was English. <laughs> Don't worry. As the leader of the chumpets, I'll make sure none of you, the humans know about us. But maybe don't talk so loud. Also, I'm still not sure if you're not a uh, not a hallucination, but we'll get to that bridge when we come to it. The... That big guy would try eating us like an apple, so definitely don't tell him about us. Yeah, you think? Potato. <laughs> Why is Potato so quiet? Are your plans... Are your plans going awry? <laughs> <laughs> Brad is so cute. I love his dumb dad puns. I love him. <laughs> I keep forgetting his breath. His voice is so deep. His breath's so deep. <laughs> his voice is so deep. I got another cornbread classic for you. Wait, another? Did you hear about the baker's maker? Hmm? Read it. Did you hear about the bread maker's bakery burning down? No? <laughs> Her business is now toast! <laughs> oh, I love it, it's so dumb. 
I just want a plushie of bread. It's so cute. That one's been done to death. Do you know how a raspberry and milk were introduced? They were? You tell her now. Raspberry! Raspberry milkshake! Oh, that makes sense. Why do I feel like bread is Gregor? Raspberry is kind of like, like, um, da -da -da -da. what's your name? What's your name? The one that's always mean. Karen. How did I miss that? She's the one that always is, is mean and her name is Karen. That was kind of dumb. And then, I feel like Cabbage is, um, the other girl and Onion's the nerd. See, I'm terrible with names. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> you let out an audible groan. <laughs> did Cornbread teach you that one? Nope. He wasted an entire day thinking about terrible jam puns. <laughs> eh, well, it's all worth it, the time and effort. Um, you win the animal chomp at annual chomp at comedy competition for this year. Of course. No, while I'm here, I won't choke on the stage this year. <laughs> Isn't that every year, Brad? Oh, are you stage fright? <laughs> you still talk about that closing line, Brad. You're going to do great this year. Wait, are you guys running a comedy show? That's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, don't even think about eating us if you're hungry. Trust me, I don't want to eat you guys. You guys are adorable. I hope it doesn't come to that. <clears throat> Jump it, stick together through thick and thin. Rain or shine. Fast... Feast and famine. Potato, I swear to God. Repeat that line and we're locking you up again. What the fuck happened with Potato? Why are we so mean to Potato, Cabbage? You don't think I didn't hear that, but I heard that. Why did you not like Potato? Uh, these food puns aren't funny in the yeast. <laughs> uh-huh. You're one to talk. <laughs> You got dad jokes over there, too. Uh, life or death. That's right. Chump ants. Move out. Oh, are they just going to stay in the drawer the whole time? What happened to the hide and seek thing? The chump hedge managed to close the drawer on themselves. You bring the crusty bread and jam into the living room. I still feel like the chump ants are like... I don't know, like... The spirits of others that have stayed in this cabin and got stuck in a terrible flood. And like, they were so starved and they only had so much food left. So their spirits went into the food? Because I don't know, unless I'm just hallucinating the talking food. And I, I'm like, sort of crazy for being up in this cabin for lord knows how long. I, guess I, don't, I don't know. Karen interrupts as you bring the food. Took you long enough. I cannot stand your attitude. Look, we are already in a precarious situation, and your prissy little pissy attitude isn't gonna help anybody. Also, is that a wizard staff in the corner? Maybe we can use that to help us. <gasps> Am I a wizard? <laughs> Am I a wizard? And I made that, that, that food? Dad jokes are a m. Damn cat, ignore that. <laughs> Your cat said, "Let me time." It's my turn. <gasps> I'm a wizard, aren't I? I brought the food to life because I was so lonely. <gasps> maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I don't seem weirded out by talking veggies. Ah, well, maybe I did. I kind of did in the beginning. Okay. Karen took two slices of bread and a mason jar of raspberry jam. There's no mold on these two slices of bread. You're just gonna take them? Hmm? Oh, hello. Hi. Karen is right. What the hell is the matter with you? What are you pissed at me for? You're the one being the bitch. You grip the knife tightly in your hand. You think this is enough for five of us? Look, just be grateful we have the bread. It's better than nothing. And you know, you're the ones that came to the cabin unprepared and with very little food. Don't be bitching at me. Wait, 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 wait! We can't throw this bread away. It's all we have left. Gregor's right. And it's only 
Will the mold spread or give us food poisoning? Uh, I'm no scientist. Sorry. Um, let's pick up the mold as much as we can. We can't leave until the flood waters, so we'll at least have them this another day. Everyone grumbles and nods, ripping apart the pieces like a pack of wolves. Maybe I should check the basement. There's probably cans and stuff down in the basement, but I know what's waiting down in the basement because I played the demo. Unless things changed from the demo. Uh, I don't want to go into the basement. <laughs> How I, uh, why don't I want to go into the basement with that? This game, but in Phasmophobia, I can go into the basement just fine. Also, going into the basement in Phasmophobia creeps me out too, if I'm honest. <laughs> Gregor seems to unhinge his jaw and eat it in one bite. You kid. That's an uncomfortable visual. He looks like a duck eating bread. Thanks again. Bread and jam isn't much of a meal, but it's more than we have left. Oh, it's more than we had left when we left the Ukraine. Plenty of rainwater outside, so at least we won't dry of dehydration. Yeah, but we gotta boil it at first. Never drink just straight up rainwater. Always boil it! But until the storm is over, nobody should leave the cat. Should clear up if it gives a chance. Anatoly, were you, where are you getting this information from? Uh, one of the books on the bookshelf about climate here. Wait! Wait! Oh, we have a radio! We have a radio! We have a radio! Is there some way I can access the radio? Hold on. What if I could access the radio and call us for help? There is something on my monitor and I don't know what it is. Is there a radio? Oh, what the fuck? That's the thingy that flashed on the screen earlier. Looks lovely. Hey. Um, it said I picked up a radio. I don't seem to have an inventory. <clears throat> no. I keep trying to hit the escape button to go back, but it won't let me. You're illiterate, so that's definitely a lie. Wow, you don't have to be such a bitch about it. I don't like you. I've seen him reading. Little guy's been studying. What? I'm serious. He pretends to read those books because he thinks... He wants us to think he's smart. But I can't tell if he's just staring at the page and faking it. What do you think? Eh? Anatoly doesn't know whether conditions from a hole in the ground. Karen is correct. Anatoly can read. I saw it with my own two eyes. Look, getting everybody mad is not going to help the situation. But if if I lie and say that he can read when he can't, it might affect something later on down the line where they want him to read something important to get us out of the situation. But he can't read, so then I just screwed us all because I told him he could read. It... Oh no. <laughs> I didn't have to say it like Anatoly can't tell the weather conditions from a hole in the ground. Like, I didn't have to say it that way. I could have said it a little nicer. Ooh, liar to protect his feelings or tell the truth and screw us if something more important comes up down the line. If I lie and say he could read and it ends up biting us in the ass, that's gonna suck. Because I know he can't read and I don't want to be a bitch and expose that he can't read, but if something happens down the line and we need him to read something and he can't, and we're all fucked because I lied, but then he might turn around and kill me. Why is it so hard? <sighs> I gotta tell the truth. I'm sorry, buddy. It's no shame. You could always learn. Hmm? Huh. You're funny. I, I... I'm sorry. I didn't... Keep pretending to read those books. Okay, we don't have to hound him about it. We don't have to hound him. Back off. Brutal, Karen. I found an old picture book in the living room, Anatoly. Let me know if you want it, small fry. Back off, bitch. Like, seriously, back off. Karen. Karen smiles at you. 
I guess let's call it a day. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for her to be even more of a bitch. Imagine if he wasn't illiterate. He was just only able to read in German or something. I don't, I don't know what the books he's reading are supposed to be in the language of. And like, if he wants to learn to read, I can help him learn. I'm not the best teacher, but I could try. She's just a bitch. <laughs> I don't like Karen. I don't like Karen. I don't trust Karen. The demo with her scary, sketchy face did not help. Everyone shuffles off to their sleeping areas. Six minutes later. Oh, hi. I'm glad you called Anatoly's Bluff. I only did it in case everyone in later on asking to read something in a precarious situation. Do not act all smug and mitchy. You continue to impress. I'm not trying to impress everyone. Certainly not you. I do not like you or your attitude. It's a shame Anatoly is sleeping in the same bedroom. I should have never let him be the one to share with me, like I would ever share with you. You could be the prettiest person on the planet and have an attitude like her, and I would think you were the ugliest. <laughs> I'm sorry. You could be, like, sexy as can be, with six-pack abs, an unbroken, white, sparkling smile, and if you act like an asshole, you instantly became, like, a two to me. I, I could give a fuck less what you look like. If you're a nerd with a heart of gold, I'll take it. If you're a, a like, supermodel with a dickheaded attitude, no thank you. <laughs> But if it was just me and you, I'm sure we could study and squeeze in a few novels before bed. Or I could help Anatoly learn to read, and you could shove your bullheaded, hot-headed assness up your ass! Also, if I'm a wizard, can't I just make more food? I'm still stuck on this being a wizard staff. You can't tell me it doesn't look like a wizard staff. <laughs> well, we'll see if we can kick him out at some point, right? Or we could kick you out. That sounds like a better idea. You know what? I like that idea better. Oh, you have to tell me more about the autonomization book on the... Huh? I am a wizard! I did bring them to life! I brought the foe to life! I was right! I was kidding! Oh, but it actually happened! I brought the chapettes to life! Huh? Your rant kind of reminds me of that old dull book about the old mean couple. Huh? What old mean couple? Um, really cool pictures in there. Karen looks like she kind of has a crush on you. I do not reciprocate. Well, let me know if you ever free for a lesson, okay? How about you back off and go over to wherever you came from? Karen walks off looking very happy. You are definitely sure Karen will remember that. Yay! Sorry, I don't like her or her attitude. I see. I feel so bad for outing Anatoly. I feel really bad. I didn't want to out him, but like, uh, I'm an honest person, and it, just because he can't read doesn't mean he won't be able to learn. You get ready for bed and put a blanket on. You go to sleep very hungry. This is so sad. Where did the... Oh, now the countdown makes sense. Now the day counter makes sense. Well, you can survive for what? Three months without food? It's just as long as you have water, which if it's flooding, we have plenty of water. We just gotta make sure to thoroughly boil and let the water cool before we can drink it. And we said they said we had berries close to the cabin. So we can ration them out as much as possible, plus whatever emergency rations we still have, if we have any. Mm. You don't dream the entire night, but you sleep through everyone waking up. Uh, oh, hello. That's how fast a deer can run if startled. What? Whoa. Incredible. Impressive. Yawn. Well, now I gotta yawn. <laughs> I wish we had some deer here. The food is getting lower, and let's just skip today's meal. Hmm. 
No. It's only for one day. Various cultures and religions religions practice fasting throughout history. That doesn't make us feel any better, Anatoly. What options do we have? Our food rations was wasn't ration <coughs> properly. Excuse me. Anatoly leaves, mumbling to himself. So passive aggressive of him. Oh no. Everyone goes to a separate era. Karen is in the bedroom. Gregor is in the living room. Mariah in the kitchen. And Anatoly in the bedroom. Who do you want to speak to? I want to go talk to Anna. Anatoly. Maybe I can help him learn to read. I thought you were in the bedroom. Eek! I'm done using the bathroom. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. Anatoly looks at you oddly. Look, I'm sorry about outing everyone that you couldn't read. I wasn't trying to be mean. Do you ever daydream? Absolutely, all the time. Uh, all the time. You bet. <gasps> Only about rivers and floods filled with entrails and falling. <laughs> huh? If you have those kind of daydreams, maybe you should see a, a shrink. Wait a minute. What if I'm a, a cannibalistic wizard? What if I caused the storm to trap these people here? Oh no. Oh no. Because <laughs> I, I feel like I'm a wizard because I have the wizard staff in the corner, the anatomy book that apparently brought the chapettes to life, and then all of a sudden this storm blows up out of nowhere, and I conveniently have no food in the cabin despite being here for who the hell knows how long, and I should have had food? It's natural way to fill up the gaps in the bedroom. Hmm. And what do you daydream about? Uh... What it would be like to have powers, random stuff I want to do for the day, uh... Sometimes bad stuff. Great. Yeah, sometimes great. Yeah, I thought so. What? <laughs> One time when I was still in school, there was this, I was in art class, and there was this cross that somebody was working on painting, and they had painted, like, beautifully realistic tigers on this cross, and this, I just started daydreaming about these group of tigers running through the field, and, like, I don't know how much time had passed, but I, my art teacher was like, are you there? And I was, I, she got, I was startled, I was like, sorry, what? She was like, where did you go? I was like... I was picturing tigers running in a field because that cross over there with the tigers painted on it made me think of tigers running. And she goes, oh, okay, but you need to get back to what you were doing. I, I zone out a lot. Like, that's why I can't re like listen to audiobooks. Because if I'm listening to an audiobook, I'll start daydreaming and like turning the, the audiobook into a movie in my head and then... As I'm like trying to turn one scene of the audiobook into a movie, it's already moved on ahead of me. So, like, sometimes I'll like be stuck on an audiobook and have to replay it. I daydream in blueprints for some reason. Huh, interesting. Speaking of daydreaming, apparently some people don't have a voice in their head at all. And apparently some, like, some people don't have a voice in their head at all. Some people think in conversations, and some people picture things. That's cr like, how do people that don't have a voice in their head think? You know what I mean? Not saying they're dumb, I'm just saying, like, how do they think? Like, how do they read? How do they plan stuff where they don't have a voice in their head? Does that make it harder or easier? Hi, welcome in, Gavin. Nice to see ya. But like, that's insane to me. Like, I, I'm a pic I'm a person that if you're talking to me and like telling me a story, I'm actively picturing what you're telling me. Which sometimes I regret being a person like that because I heard a story one time from my Discord friends that I wish I could forget. And like, I'm sitting here like, if I'm freaked out just hearing the story he's telling me, how must he have felt by living through it? I am not at all going to repeat what this man told me because it is 
a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But I'm not gonna repeat it because it was a lot and I wish I could forget what he said. But then there's a part of me that's like, if that was my reaction just hearing that story, that man had to live through it because he was in the war. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I got on a tangent about daydreaming because he was talking about daydreaming. And here we are again. Let me tell you about... Uh, I can tell you about history with Cookie. So, um... You can tell Anatoly is struggling with small talk. What's the best thing you've ever cooked? The best thing I've ever cooked? Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. I really like making spaghetti. And I don't just do noodles and sauce. That's not spaghetti, that's noodles and sauce. <laughs> you gotta put some, some veggies and some meat. Unless you're vegetarian or vegan, then you don't have to put meat in if you're vegetarian or vegan, it's fine. Um, uh, a feast for the queen. Ve the vegetable soup. Children? What are with these weird ass answers? I'm a wizard cannibal, is that what it is? What? Uh, or am I that, uh, am I the witch from Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> I uh, trick the kids into the house and then shove them in the oven. Is that what it is? I think in pictures and exactly how it sounds. Mm -hmm. However, it's more like a movie than just an image. Exactly, that's the same way I think. A feast for the queen. I don't even want to touch on the fact that he said children. A royal feast, eh? I wonder who it was for. You have to tell me sometime, okay? Anatoly is looking at you dreamily. Aww. He will definitely remember that. Okay, so he's not so mad at me about them, like, telling everybody they couldn't read. That's good, at least. Ooh, later. You decide to head back to the others. I don't trust my character. I've never said that playing a game, but I don't trust my character. He's up to something. My character's some evil wizard. I guess I'd be a warlock. <laughs> Everyone looks pretty down this evening. I'm sorry, guys. I wish the rain would just stop. You're all doing great. We must be at the end of this nightmare. I'm so hungry. Me too. You are too? You wish everyone a good night and get ready for bed. Like, I don't even try. There's a rat. I could cook that up, it's already dead. Like, it's it's not much, but it's something. You go to bed with a growling stomach. Mmm, I don't like it's quiet. You have a strange dream. A boy is yelling at you in the kitchen. You keep telling him to lie down on the ch- What the fuck is happening? You keep telling him to lay down on the tray. But he keeps shaking his head and calling you names. So you do it. Do what? Huh? Oh, I'm the boy. I'm the boy. Okay. Doesn't make it any better, but... You lie down on the tray and make your... Oh, no. Oh, no. Are the Chopettes the spirits of kids, whoever this creep is, killed? Is this a Coraline situation? Where, like, the Bell Dam took the kids' souls to make her world, but instead of taking the souls, he took the children's. Oh, and then their spirits went into food. But if he had food, why would he hurt the kids? Unless, I, you know what? I'm not going there. I'm not doing it. You show him how it's done. His anger turns to courage, and he pushes you in the- It is like Hansel and Gretel. It is like a Hansel and Gretel thing. The stench of burning hair fills your lungs, and you see him snickering back at you. You wake in a cold- <sighs> I'm fine. Um... This might, in fact, be a Coraline situation. I think it's a mix of a Coraline situation and, like, a Hansel and Gretel thing. 
but uh, I'm gonna see. So, I'm not the one that. Wait, that doesn't. So, if I'm having the dream, am I the wizard that hurt the kids? And somehow I was able to, like, come back? I feel like the chapets are little kids of previous victims. Oh no. And where's that creepy image? Right next to the other one. Yep, definitely creepy. But if I was creeping kids, I kind of deserved it. Ah, it's fucking creepy. <laughs> I don't. That, for some reason, is more unsettling than this. Why is this? More unsettling to me than that thing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I watched like mainly badass hero play this or something like that. I could never understand this game. I just know there's traces of cannibalism. Yeah, I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm getting that. It's, it's uh, it definitely seems like a Hansel and Gretel kind of um kind of thing, where like, ooh, um, my cat keeps rubbing my hand and throwing my phone off so I keep pushing the wrong buttons. No, you're fine. Your kitty just wants some attention. It's fine. Also, they like rubbing on your stuff to like, to claim it as theirs, because my cat likes to do that too, like whenever I'm writing or drawing. Like, he doesn't mess with my computer much. He never has. But like, if I'm writing or drawing, he'll like mess with my pen. Or my, or if I'm painting, he'll mess with my paintbrushes. I just gave him like one of my cheap paintbrushes. He plays with it all the time. He also likes it when I take the paintbrush and I like pretend to paint on his stripes. He purrs the whole time I do that. He's such a, he's such a goofball. Everyone seems to be sleeping later than normal. Their stomachs must be having kept them awake all night. The rain starts pouring outside. You can barely make out the trees from the windows. I haven't gotten an option to explore the rest of the house in a minute. I kind of want to go down to the basement to check and see if there isn't any canned goods, even though I know there's something creepy as fuck down in the basement because of the demo. I mean, dude almost puked on me when I was petting him. Such a goofy cat. Aw, did he have a hairball, or it just doesn't feel good? Uh, you hear stirring blankets and arms and legs. Mariah looks petrified. I know, guys, I know you're hungry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, couldn't sleep. Anatoly has bags under his eyes. There, you guys said there was berries close to the house. We could go and gather as many of them as we can. I mean, we might get wet, but... The storm's too loud. Karen looks out of it. Oh, no kidding. The cabin was creaking so much last night, it sounded alive. Gregor looks a little gaunt. I gotta look out the windows. And? I couldn't see anything due to the rain. Good observation, Gregor. He just told you we couldn't see anything through the rain! I'm so hungry last night. I kept pacing around my bed. Karen turns to me. When is this going to end? You act like I know! I'm stuck here just like all of you guys! Why, why are you putting the blame on me? I checked outside the door again. The flood rise waters keep rising. If we don't do something soon, we're going to be stuck in flood ourselves. The idea behind these games must be real in most scenarios down to the wire. When people get hungry, eating each other is better than dying of starvation. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think I'd rather starve. I think I'd rather starve. I, I, could, I just could not imagine. Like, I mean, I get it. I do. But me personally, I don't think I could, I could ever, uh, I couldn't live, like at that, like I couldn't live with myself if I ever did that. Like at that point, you might as well just, I might as well just die, because I couldn't live with myself if I ever had to be, do that. <laughs> ah, keep rising. Unfortunately, we're going to need to stay put unless one of us wants to drown in rainwater. 
As soon as the weather lets up, we'll be able to scavenge for supplies. How close to the nearest town? Hmm, I don't know. Didn't you have a map on you? I dropped it while we were running after Gregor. Oh, great. Don't I have a radio? Can't I use it? Do I have an inventory? I. No? I don't? Where's... I have the radio. Um. Instinct will override reason in most people in desperate enough situations. Well, fun fact, humans have been eating each other for centuries. Only in recent history have we stopped doing it. I know it sounds weird and creepy, but it's true. Ew, <laughs> no, there's some facts that just doesn't, doesn't need to know. I'm sure it'll show up eventually. <laughs> uh, Mariah and Anatoly go white as a sheet. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Oh, hey, we're going to find our way back now. Uh, well... We have to ride out the storm. Mariah looks at you. We're down to our last slice of bread. I don't know how much longer we can put off eating. The group stares at you. Oh, it'll clear up in no time. Maybe you're right. The group looks worried. They all gravitate into an area. You can tell Gregor's putting on a fake optimism and Mariah's having trouble. Which do you want to speak to today? I'm gonna talk to Gregor. I don't wanna talk to Gregor. Um. You may not even realize. Ah. Uh, I hate my phone sometimes. Mm hmm. Oh, hey. I know you already searched the kitchen, but I had to double check. How full is Amy? I wish everyone was in better spirits. I can't. It can't rain forever, right? Well. One time it did rain for 40 days and 40 nights because God said, Fuck y'all! <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Rainfall in this area can la last from days to weeks. You tell Gregor to stay strong. You know what? Thank you. The group is really thankful for your kindness. Gregor blushes a little bit. I always wanted to be the one that kept everyone in good spirits. But it's obvious you don't n have that much better. <clears throat> Gregor looks at you fondly. You're sure Gregor will remember that? What am I doing to be remembered so fondly for? I didn't do anything. Uh, I, but I think we can all agree Gregor is a beautiful man. Uh, so long as you're not the juiciest option, you'll be fine for a bit. Ah, it's gross. Well, maybe I should have played a different game. Relationship is a bit harder. The rain is pounding hard against the wooden cabin, but at least nothing of it is getting inside. Well, that's good, because as rickety as this cabin looks, you tell Grogier to keep his spirits up and join the others. There was a rat in the cupboard. We could, we could, I know it's gross, I know, but it's better than nothing, and at least it's protein. You can, and you did say there's a lot of spiders, so as long as it's not poisonous... You can tell every yeah. You call everyone together. They all look grim. You could cut the tension with a knife. With a knife. I just every time someone says cut the tension with a knife, I just picture that one scene from either the Scooby Doo show or the the, the movie where he takes the knife and just cuts out. A a bit of the fog and then eats it like a donut. Like every time someone says cut the tension with a knife, that's the only thing I picture. Then it makes me smile and then people are like, why are you smiling? I'm like, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just picturing Scooby-Doo eating a, a, a donut of frost, uh, fog. Everyone is staring at you. They're expecting the last piece of bread for dinner. You bring it out and everyone cannot take their eyes off it. You instruct everyone to take a pinch. Slowly, all five of you tear apart like a wishbone. Everyone studies their piece of bread carefully, wondering how long it will last. Karen is first to eat hers. She chews each bite a few hundred times before swallowing it. Anatoly chews it cautiously, opening his mouth once he finishes each bite. Mariah nibbles on it silently, eyes wide, moving from person to person. And Gregor... Aww. 
Figure just pops it in his mouth like a cherry. This is so somber. It was gone in an instant. Oh, this is so sad. Stop telling me that stuff. That's gross. I don't want to know. If I say I don't want to know something, that means okay, no more. The group thanks you inwardly. It's not much, but you've run out of options. You wish everyone a good night and get ready for bed. You go to bed starving. This is so sad. Like, what do you say to that? Like, what are you, what are you supposed to say? <laughs> and yikes. Also, well, there's gotta be something in the basement. Like, canned goods or something. Good morning. Morning. Let's check if the rain has stopped. I can still hear it. I can guarantee you it didn't stop. I can still hear it raining. It's still flooding. We could make a boat! There's a bookshelf. We could take the shelves of the book out and try to make a boat. Find, like, deer and stuff. I'm pretty sure. I'm a wizard. I trapped them here. Cause like, there's the whole storm in the background, there's the wizard staff, there's the fact that I brought food to life, or trapped children's spirits in the in the, in the, in the, in, in cabbage. <sighs> like, either, if I'm not the wizard, I'm the wizard's, like, protege or something. Cause I don't seem like I know what's going on, but maybe the wizard that got pushed in the oven, like, cursed this land to whenever, like, travelers came in. He would make it flood, and they'd be stuck until they starved, which is fucked. I told you to stop saying that, please. <laughs> I don't want to know. I didn't ask. I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, humans can live two to three weeks without food. Water isn't a concern, as long as you boil it. The rain should end in a day or two, right? Actually... Participation, precipitation, can occur more than 215 days a year here. Why did you guys come here? I love chicken. I did. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, do you really think it would rain that long? And it's holy. It's been days already. Do you think? What makes you think it'll stop soon? No. Relax, everyone. Let's just see if we can write it out. Fingers crossed it would be done by tomorrow. I don't, I don't know. Panic is slowly creeping in. Everyone's looking scared. But you need to survive. Like, why don't we use the bookshelf and make a boat? We could, we could break that chair and use oars. The smallest one of us can go out on the bookshelf like a boat. And I'm sure there's probably animals, like, trying to escape the flood, too. Or you could just hunt for fish that came in the water. Like, that's something, at least. Take a backpack with you and fill it with fish and whatever else you find. That's what I'd try to do. Might not be the best plan, but it's better than starving to death. You want to speak with Mariah in the kitchen. Or in Italy in the living room. <clears throat> Think about everything you've done wrong and how you've doomed everyone. Why did I doom everyone? Was it my idea to come here? I've been saying we should leave since I heard about the spiders. Uh, back to the game. What if you're not a wizard, but it... That's what I... I either I'm the wizard or like a prodigy of the wizard. Because people are like blaming me for coming here. So, like, I don't know, but either we could try to use the wizard staff to stop the rain, or we go out, we take the books out of the bookshelf, take the shelves out, use it as a makeshift boat, because I'm sure it'll float. Did not mean for that to rhyme. And then use, like, break the chair leg, break the chair, use it as paddles, and use it as, like, spears, like... I know the one girl, the redhead, likes to whittle. 
Taryn likes to whittle, so she could take the knife that I know she has, sharpen the, the broken pieces of the chair into a spear, and we can use the boat to, like, fish out fish from the water. Grab the staff and become a witch. Uh, no. But that's at least something. Like, yeah, you're gonna get soaked from the rain, but we could easily use the wood to start a fire to dry you off when you get back. And there's probably plenty of fish in that water and probably some dead rodents or something. It's something. It's something. They haven't even considered trying to fish. Uh, I don't want to talk. Wait. Mariah's not the mean one. I'll talk to Mariah. I keep thinking Mariah's the mean one, but that's Karen. Hey. Mariah looks relieved to see you. Oh. <laughs> Hi. How are you holding up? Better question. How are you holding up? I came to check on you, not myself. Not very good. It's very sweet of you to ask. Mariah is looking at you intensely. Uh, my? She gets a little quiet. Eh, eh. Uh-uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Hi. I noticed you didn't use any meat when cooking. Usually I have to pick it out of foods the others make. But you respect that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mariah is looking at you with admiration. I need to speak with Gregor for a minute, but thanks again. Hmm. You're definitely sure Mariah will remember that. Oh, I got two hearts that time? Huh, that's weird. You decided to check in the drawer again. They're gonna bust me with this chip at and be- Uh, where did they go? Potato, what did you do? Where are Cabbage and the others? I just did ask Potato where they are. <laughs> They'll be back. They wanted to explore the labyrinth of tunnels around the cabin. What? Wait, there are actually tunnels under there? I thought it was just a basement. Surely you've seen the mouse. Why is everything getting all weird? What is going on? Why is the music so creepy? Yeah, I saw the mouse holes. They connect all over the cabin. Must have been some mouse that created them or something worse. What do you know? Does everybody act like you're the black sheep of the family? That didn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. I'm talking to a potato. What makes sense anymore? Anyway, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Things are going to get worse from here on out. Gee, you don't say. I keep suggesting we use the, the bookshelf as a boat to go fishing, but nobody's listening. Uh, Mariah, ALA mode, Anatoly on Rye. Oh, just potato. You realize some jewel is leaking on your mouth. Disgusting. Don't even try to eat me. You'll just get deathly sick and, if you tried. And from the look at you, you need to retain all the water you can. From rationing, from rationing to cooking, you failed every common sense measure for basic survival this week. You knew something like this would happen, right? How was I supposed to know this would happen? Never mind. With the blood waters rising and no food now. I think it'd be a great time to go over fundamentals of starvation with you. When experimenting on starvation, there are four factors that will determine if you live or die. Age, height, weight, and your degree of activity or inactivity. If you've been especially lazy, so I think you'll survive a little longer than the other. So that's... The Harris Benedict equation can help you figure out how many calories you need to simply maintain your current weight. The equation produces. <gasps> That's why it said in his bio he wants you to learn the equation. He 
was trying to warn us to keep us alive. The equation produces a number called the Basel metabolic rate or BMR. Stay with me here. BMR equals six no no math. Six fifty five so it'd be four point thirty five times a hundred pounds plus six hundred and fifty five. No, you do all the equation you do all the equations in the parentheses first. So it would be four point five times a hundred and then four point seven times height. Four point seven times aging years. Plus then you add all that together. Okay. Got it? Fun fact. Let's try it out on someone here, Mariah. Using Herod's Benedict, she will. She looks like 120 pounds? About 5 feet 5 inches tall. About 20 years old. Hmm. Crunching the numbers, I think she'd need about 1,300 calories daily. But that's a poorly stationary. She'd have to lay in bed all night, just eating, breathing, and using her brain. Not very common, and when you're starving to death, people tend to get up more. If she's being very active, let's say swimming through floodwaters, we need to multiply that 1.38 calories by 1.9, since she'll need 2,000 calories per day. That's quite a difference, especially when you didn't ration the food factory, which you didn't. Why am I being blamed for this? I guess that wraps up our first survival lesson. Hopefully, we'll never have to speak again. Okay? We shut the drawer and go over the numbers again. Is that, does, that, does that mean Gregory's fucked? Because Gregory's like a fucking mountain. So we just gotta meditate. Everybody sit still and meditate. <laughs> like, just... Oh, actually, meditation could help. Because it slows everything in the body down. And it'll get you focused on something other than food. I don't think any of us can take this much longer. I should have looked in the basement. Let's go check the basement. Let me check the basement. There's got to be something in the basement that can help us survive. Like canned goods or something. There's labyrinths under the house. There's probably mice upon mice. I know two of us here are vegetarian, but it's either that or starve. Like, I don't know what they want me to do here. Um, potato is no more. He is now potato. I'm not going to say mine, but it's five digits. Five digits? Your, your weight? What's five digits? Gregor's voice starts to crack. I don't want to ask this, but it's time. One of us needs to go outside and search for food. Everyone is silent. I'll go. M Mariah? I used to swim all the time. You no, swim! Don't swim! Use the bookshelf as a boat! Break the chair, use it as an oar, use the bookshelf as a boat. I probably have the best chance of swimming through the floodwaters. No! Let me go instead. You won't get very far if you have to lose your glasses. You're blind as a mole rat, remember? It's true, but... Little guy... Let me go. Krieger, I... It sounds good to me. Karen! His arms are the longest, so he's probably the best at climbing trees out of all of us. No, it wouldn't be right, Gregor. Let me go instead. Listen, we don't really have time to argue about this. My BRM. What do you think I'm... <laughs> no. No, I'm... I'm a little... I'm, this game is getting so somber. Why is it all the things that look cute at first start out being horrible? Like, not like it's a horrible game, just like horrible in subject matter. 
Um, I get these options are good ones, but we need to find food or help. I have a radio! Why have I not mentioned the radio to any of them? I have a radio! If we could figure out how to get it to work, I'm sure we could radio for a helicopter for help. Like, why have I not mentioned the radio? Gregor grabs a branch from the woodpile. He cuts it into different measurements. So we can't come to a consensus, let's draw for it. We'll each pick from my hand. And the shortest will go outside and search for food. Use the bookshelf as a boat. Do -do -do -do. You're not worried about drawing. Gregor cuts the branch lengths so you can tell which of the big is of the bunch. You pick it. You watch the others intently. Will it be Gregor? Anatoly? Karen? Will it be... Mm -hmm. Mariah. Looks like I got the shortest. Mariah. Mariah. It's... Okay. Wait, why is she bummed? She she was the one that wanted to go anyway. He... He cares for she's got the most traffic. Did her art change? I watched Anatoly Forger. Oh, please don't go out there. She's not gonna come back, is she? She's not gonna come back, is she? Uh, so I know what to look out for. Wait, there are tunnels under the house. I was just told there are... Why am I not telling anyone about the tunnels under the house or the radio? Why am I not saying anything? Like, why am I not saying anything? If it were me, I'd be like, hey, I have this radio here. We could try to get it to work. Call for help. Or there's tunnels under the house. There's probably, like, mice. Or there might be canned goods in the basement. Like, why am I not saying anything? Damn, Mariah went from around 14 to 17. I know her art changed. Just swim until you find higher ground and scout the area. Maybe you can find fish out there. Everyone looks heartbroken. Karen, Anatoly, Gregor, I'll keep us in line. I promise. Oh, honey. Honey, no! Everyone watches Mariah leave the cabin. The silence is deafening. Good goodbye. Uh-uh! No, 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 no. Because they got you crazy. Uh-huh. Well, you know, like, like, if it were me, I'd be like, hey, I have this radio here, or there's a basement we haven't explored, there's probably canned goods. Yeah, I don't think she's coming back. I don't think she's coming back. I don't think she's coming back. I feel so bad. The door shuts behind her. You faintly hear her yell how cold the water is, and then silence. Mariah has left the cabin. I'm sure we'll see her again. The rest of the group nods. Everyone stays up waiting and waiting. The sun has completely set. One by one, each person settles off to bed. Huh? Dead to me, Mariah has left the cabin. Sorry, I don't know if you can see the achievements as they pop up in the top corner. They're up there. Um, you get into bed easily and pass out. You have a strange dream. The two women in front of you could be twins. One of them you recognize, the other is a guest. You ask the guest to sit on the sh a shovel, and then you start pushing it into the oven. Her legs are so strong you can't get her into the oven. You curse at her repeatedly, like this! You stretch your legs until your toes are almost sticking in the coals. You feel hands on your shoulder, both of them push you in. The familiar smell of smoke and burning hair cause you to throw up on the embers. You can't let it in like this. You rip the metal door off the oven, tearing it through the wood logs of the cabin. Screaming, you chase the two through the woods. You are burned chill with the wind. The guest looks behind her, her eyes wide when she sees you. She's terrified. Your furry... Your furry? <laughs> your fury rips the trees out of their roots, solid from the ground, rocks from their pits. 
You've never been this angry in your entire life. Their stamina can't last forever. You're gaining on them. As you trample through a field of wheat, the guest throws a piece of cloth behind it. You catch a glint in the sun, golden. As if by magic, the earth splits in front of you, creating a chasm of fire below. You fall into the pit, screaming as your eyes begin to sizzle from the heat. Hellfire fills up your lungs, and you're unable to scream anymore. You wake in a cold sweat. Ah! What is this game? Why? Can't one game just be cute and actually be cute? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was that? I, uh, I, I, I want, I want, I want to. I wanna go, I wanna go to the basement. I wanna go to the basement. I want to go to the basement because there could be something down there that can help us out. I don't know if there's going to be what I want to. I know there's some monstrosity in the basement, but I'm wondering if it's not as evil as I think it is. See something in the blackness? I don't remember seeing these. Wait, that's the one in the basement. At least it was in the demo. I haven't even seen her yet. One, two, three. Why does this one look different? It's the twins watching me fall in hell for him. Why is that one different? Wrong button. Wrong one. Hold on. I'm gonna... I wanna see something. I'm gonna go to the basement. I'm gonna go to the basement because it hasn't given me the option to. Oh fuck! I forgot the key. Oh, that's a bummer. So I couldn't have done anything here. Anyway. Never mind. Can I go into the basement if I wanted to? Good morning. Do you think she made it to higher ground? I hope so, but I doubt it. I believe in Mariah. Me too. Why is the glass half empty character suddenly like everything will be fine? I don't trust that for a second. She'll be fine. Right, little guy? Um, so what do we do now? Just wait? Karen, how long is it? It's been almost, it's been a day? Excuse me. Anna's holy and Greg, you look nervous. Someone needs to go look for her. <gasps> we need to wait, Karen. Wait for what? The nearest town is miles and miles away. Waiting is all we can do for now. So it could be days. Uh, mice is better than nothing. Karen, I'm sure Anna totally would agree, but we'll discuss the next option when we get to it. Every waking thought about food now. I should have never eaten that much. I'm... I'm... Karen's hands start involuntarily shaking. Gregor and Anatoly just nod in agreement. They don't need her to elaborate. I'm sure Mariah will make it back. She promised. Everyone retreats to their area. This is getting so somber. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. 
I think, honestly, I, th I think that's where I'm going to call it for tonight. This is a lot. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if this is getting somber. I was not prepared for how somber this was going to get. I thought this was going to be a quirky game about me finding talking sentient food and figuring out the mystery behind it. This is getting so somber. <laughs> I'm. I want to see if the characters will make it out. I hope they can. I wish I had more choices in this scenario of the game because if it were up to me, I'd be like trying to make plans. Not saying any of those plans would work, but I would definitely be trying something. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye!